So I'd like you to speak to us um, a little bit more about the process of giving birth at home. It obviously doesn't start on the day you go into labor, but you would need to contact a midwife during your pregnancy and, and put certain steps in place to allow you to labor at home. Yeah. I always encourage mums to, if they do, at least explore the option of a, of a home birth. It, it isn't for everybody. I, I do have mums who, they come to our gatherings, they suss it out and then they decide, you know, no, a, you know, a hospital birth suits me better and that's all we ask of women we're not here to shove home birth down everybody's throat but women need to know that it is a valid option in South Africa for for pregnant mums um, but the midwives who offer home birth are very few and far between and um, it is nice to be able to pick and choose the right midwife for you I think it's absolutely important it's such an intimate um, spiritual experience that you really want the person that's going to be your care provider to really honor that for you. Um, so once you've decided on your midwife you see her you know at least once a month and then towards the end of the pregnancy every fortnight and sometimes every week and she will actually come and do some of the consultations in your own home so she really gets to know your home, get to know any other children you might have, your husband, partner, whoever else might be present at the birth, um, so that you really feel that she's comfortable in, in your space and you know, for the midwife to get to know you in your own environment. Um, and then as I said, you know, arrangements would have been made for the backup hospital and doctor in place if it's needed. Um, and then usually the midwife would give the mom a list of requirements that may be needed for the birth and it's very basic things like um, you know put some plastic sheeting on your mattress and have a pack of linen savers have the baby's nappy sanitary towels already in one spot so that when we come we know where everything is um, yeah, and often this, the topic of, well, I've lived in a little flat or, you know, I don't have much, you know, my, my house isn't big and you only need the space between your legs to give birth, <laughs> really. <laughs> and You're quite um, right, actually. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, yeah, because we are mammals, we, oftentimes how we give birth is in quiet and darkness and privacy not bright lights, lots of people. We often, yeah, that is a bit more counterproductive to laboring effectively. Um, so besides the equipment that the um, midwife will ask the mother to have, the midwife herself comes with bags and bags of medical equipment, things like oxygen tanks and masks for mom and baby, resuscitation equipment, um, medication to prevent postpartum bleeding, drip sets, suture material, you know, basically everything that a level one hospital would have to offer first line care for a mom and newborn.